Hi, Martin here with another video. And if you want to browse on your Mac privately, so you don't want any of your uh, searches or the websites you visit to be stored, what you're gonna wanna do is go private or incognito. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that on three of the browsers available on Mac. So let's get started. Okay, so firstly, we have Safari because this is the one that most people using a Mac are gonna be using. So I've got a Safari window open here and if I want to go private, all I need to do is go up to file up here in the top left-hand corner. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And the first option you see new window, the second option you'll see a new private window. So we can click on new private window and you can see here it says private browsing enabled, Safari will keep your browsing history private for all tabs in this window. After you close this window, Safari won't remember the pages you visited, your search history, or your autofill information. Okay, so that's how we can get a private window going in Safari. So let's go ahead and jump over to Google Chrome. So Google Chrome, uh, they have their private browser is called Incognito. So if you've got a Chrome window open on your Mac, instead of going up to file, we're gonna go all the way over here to the right hand side where these three dots are. So I'm gonna click on these three dots and from here, I'm gonna to go to new incognito window. So now I have an incognito window open. And again, it says here, others who use this device won't see your activity. So you can browse more privately. Okay, so let's take a look at the final browser, which is Microsoft Edge. Now this browser has been getting better and better and it is available on Mac. So I thought it might be useful just to touch on how you can get a private window or incognito window on Edge. So I've got my Edge window open here. And again, similar to Safari, I'm gonna go up to file. And then the first option is new window. The second option is new in private window. So I'll click on new in private window. And then again, we have a little blurb here saying what in private browsing does. And it deletes your browsing info when you close all in private windows. Saves collections, favorites and downloads. Prevents Microsoft Bing searches from being associated with you. So there you have it. A quick run through on how you can browse privately or incognito using Safari, Chrome or Edge on Mac. I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please give it a like, comment below and subscribe for more.